What up, fitness Josh? Your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, we're here at King MX's new uh, track, and it's called Dirty Creek, as you know, in IRL. It is called Muddy Creek out in Blountville, Tennessee. And I actually need to go to this track IRL because I just got done watching a Matt Birkin video, and he actually did a GoPro IRL of him riding the 250 two stroke and his 450. And uh, yeah, man, it was absolutely gnarly, dude. And then he came out with a super fan uh, video as well, trying to show off the D-class of his older uh, vet. And I thought it was absolutely amazing. Uh, and it kind of was just really inspiring to see that King actually just came out with a track about it as well. So kind of goes hand in hand. Felt like really nice. And if you guys don't know who Matt Birkin is, he is a privateer pro rider and honestly really good freaking content. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> Dude, he's a W. But um, kind of was looking at his subs, man. I'm like right next to him up on subs, man. I think he's got like 32,000 and I'm at like 31. So huge shout out to Matt Birkin, man. Keep up the great work if you ever end up watching this video, but I'd probably doubt it. But uh, yeah, he was showing off the Outwall Nationals at Muddy Creek. And um, I got to say, man, it was really fun to see that they have the beginner pro, uh, the, I mean, the beginner 250s they've got the d-class c-class and they got the outlaw pro ams and and it was just really awesome to see how great this track really like a good turnout like so many people show up to it so maybe we could try to replicate something like that here in mx bikes now that this track is like here i guess i should say um and maybe just do maybe a 252 stroke uh 125 and then maybe a beginner and a pro 450 i don't know well we'll see i think it'd be really cool to do like a triple threat or an all-day event make it as if like we actually came out you know paid our dues and was doing a whole track day that would be really sick if we did a whole bunch of different events on this track because it's really cool to see it through his perspective and then like literally looking at the track now of like how it's laid out i gotta say like you literally nailed it like obviously it's a little bit overscaled like wider and that's like because of like just how mx bikes is um you know you want to have more room to work with instead of the small tracks because then it starts getting really crazy especially if you're trying to introduce beginners to a track and then just a really flowy track so that's why you want to open it up but yeah irl this track is definitely a little bit narrow <laughs> a little bit more narrow a little bit less scaled but i think perfectly nailed it like to the coffin for like the scaling on this and this is a huge triple that you got to actually send it on a freaking 250 like there's no way around you not taking that outside to try to get that uh big jump up so huge shout out to you for actually upscaling that nice little freaking double right there big boy down downhill double and a big boy oh my goodness beautiful track man i gotta love it <coughs> I, I think i forget i think this is another triple no this is yeah this is like a step up step up double to a double again on the inside yeah, track is absolutely beautiful. Watching um the kind of scene, I shouldn't say senior citizen, but the vet guy for D class kind of ride and seeing like him versus Matt Birkin of like how two different people literally tackle the track and like they're literally, literally using the same bike. Like he was riding his 450 and his 252 stroke that day, and like you you could see like it really just takes like the skill. Like anybody can hop on a bike, and if you have that right amount of skill and it's like dialed into your setup, your your suspension, bro, you're cracked at Fortnite, man. It's absolutely insane. But just to see like how Matt Perkin trying to battle against uh, like you know pros at like I should I guess I should say at what was it uh can't even oh Lakewood yeah Thunder Valley like him trying to battle against them and barely making it into 35th place 34th place like he barely skinned by it just goes to show man like like you go to a regular track he's probably the best guy out there which he was like he was absolutely destroying and then it's like if you were to put Jet out there it's like yo my boy Matt's about to get creamed but. Man, this track is absolutely amazing. It's a good flow. I definitely recommend picking it up. It is $1.50 on the shop. Unfortunate, but once again, it, pay your specs. I gotta, I gotta say for this one, he, King Yvonne has been, been putting in the work and I felt like I just been kind of putting down on like the, the hard work a lot of people do out here. Some of these tracks on the shop, I will say is probably just not worth my time, uh, but yours is definitely it. But I do appreciate you putting in your time and effort of coming around to my community, doing ELMs with us, and uh, just recommending Scrub Dirty. I don't think I've ever ridden that track uh, a lot in the past month, as much as I have in the past month, and uh, just doing a lot of ELMs and a fun riding. So it's definitely like up on my list of like places to go for the community. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like another one. I definitely wanted to probably do an ELM here. I would love to do a little bit of races. Like I said, I would love to create that Outlaw National thing. So if you guys haven't checked that out, man, that thing just happened. And, man, my boy Matt was absolutely killing it. So really sick. Um, as, as well, happy Saturday to everybody. I know we're having an off week and Southwick, Southwick is next week. Um, I tried to qualify yesterday. 
uh, for high point. I literally was 36th place. I was I literally missed the pro you know the pro event by literally 0 .008. Um, it was upsetting because I realized that I actually would have qualified way better than at, at the bottom if I actually would hit the back uh, the back triple like right before the finish line on high point. If I would have hit that triple instead of like doubling and then jumping up, I actually would have saved myself like so much time. I ran like a 253, like no nowhere near like a like a top qualifier qualifier, but I definitely would have ran like a, I I did run a 253 later or a 153, excuse me. And it's just upsetting, man. It's upsetting to know that I left time on the on the track and especially at simple spots where I thought I really couldn't make it and I should have tested it. But hey, no harm, no foul. At the end of the day, I'm kind of on my own Jeff Walker, Matt Birkin kind of privateer life uh, inside the game to where it kind of enjoy, I enjoy it because it kind of goes hand in hand with how my IRL is i just started writing irl and man i am a straight new but i enjoy it it makes me makes me feel comfortable it makes me understand like man this tr sport is super hard to get into and do so i'm glad to be humbled and i'm glad to keep fighting at it and we've only done two days at the track which five ten minute moto so we're gonna be working towards that a lot and um yeah i don't know like that's that's really it and the yamaha really did it right i mean you can even see how great and flowy this this bike is on this track like the yamaha is it man I, I was blessed to get a really good freaking setup off of it and it's just upsetting that i really just couldn't capitalize on it but i mean here at muddy creek i don't even know what i'm running i'm kind of just i don't know why i don't ever do that i don't know why i ever turn on my scoreboard or my thing if it's not like a pro track or like i'm trying to actually work on times like i never really care about my times like ever like ever 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 like i never care about my times i usually just ride the tracks and like i just enjoy enjoy it like if i go faster i go faster like i never am a hot lap warrior i just feel like as soon as i start finding a flow that's the perfect suitability if we can take this outside here instead of taking this up and over because this is like low-key keeping speed but like on the inside like irl matt burke was taking that inside because it was just freaking gnarly dude and the ruts here are absolutely beautiful it's like a more of a dry track like i think when it rains this track can definitely get rutted um but like it's definitely more of a dry track if you're just like nothing going on but the moisture was great in the air that day and man it was watching like watching the 250 beginners try to go dude everybody was sliding out everybody's having a great time so i definitely would love to see like this track put on rain settings oh my god that would be absolutely top tier or even if king like wanted to do like an updated version maybe in I mean, I shouldn't say even say a free version, but if it wasn't that hard, like create a muddy, rain, rainy version of this track, that would have been nice if you created like two different versions, like to go hand in hand. I think that'd be super sick just because it is Tennessee and it could get really muddy and rainy. I mean, it is Muddy Creek. So the, the moisture in the air and if you actually create it to where it was a rainy day, I think that'd have been super sick, but I enjoy the texture on it and it's beautiful. Uh, also, huge shout out to Cryco. Um, I know you're still probably, if you're, tuning in this long thank you so much for creating me a cryco bike with my number on it uh, it was absolutely amazing uh i ended up rocking his 2023 free cryco skin on mxb mods if you guys haven't checked that out it is free and he kind of just came in this uh, stream and he saw me rocking it and he was like dude i can make you one i was like bro greatly appreciate it so yeah he ended up making one for me so i was rocking that hoping to qualify but Huge shout out to VTX, or I don't even think VTX is a thing anymore because here's a whole debacle or a whole crazy thing. But huge shout out to Quick for creating me such great skins. And huge shout out to HSM for just still believing in me, even though I'm still not, like, I guess, qualifying or, like, literally it was one off. But I'm, I'm glad that, like, they still trust me and still think that I'm a W rider, even though when I'm not. So huge shout outs right there. Ooh! But I'm super excited to get back into IRL riding. Um, I cracked my fuel tank. I didn't know I had, well, I knew I had race fuel in it, but I didn't know how old the gas was. And it was an L me noob of like never riding before. So I guess I should have drained it when I first got the, got the bike, no matter what. But it, it ended up corroding my fuel tank IRL. So it comes in Monday. The new tank comes in Monday. So hopefully I can replace it pretty quick and we can get back to riding. But kind of like why I'm trying to lengthen out the second moto to where it's like one moto video IRL like a week until i can get back into it but now that i know don't let high octane level gas sit in your fuel tank for very long because it will go stale duly noted <laughs> man i definitely want to wake up later I, I mean by the time you guys are seeing this i literally just got off work this morning and it'll probably be uploaded later today by the time it's uploaded i'm probably going to be starting my stream i definitely want to get some races here and or an elimination race or something i i this this track definitely calls for it i mean this is absolutely beautiful king you outdone yourself once again i think i actually want to take that top part like right here go back around again oh no here we go 
go. Lock her in. Mm. Yeah, I love the kit, dude. Uh, the Renin. The Renin kind of purple. I, I guess I'll show it off. I haven't even shown it. But yeah, like the Renin. And then the blue... The blue A stars kind of go with the bike, and then I got kind of got like a really nice 60 helmet going on. Really, really great. I mean, I honestly, I enjoy just having such really cool kits, uh, reliable. And then I got the mismatched gloves on, the pink and uh, pink and black. It's absolutely beautiful, man. Just loving the opportunities that are being handed to me, and just enjoying all the small things, dude. This inside is definitely where it's at. Oh, dude, I wonder if you can jump for the outside and then kind of cave in that inside you'd probably be a really good line i think that's a 450 line like a really fast 450 line because you could take you could hit that quad i mean you can hit that triple easily from the inside and then you could probably cut all the way down that'd be a really good line for a 450 it's just inside i probably cut down right here too take this outside lines are viable i think it's super slick though because i think he has a different kind of weird tech not a weird texture it is a slick texture i've slid out twice maybe on some of my laps to before this i was just taking a little little sight laps just to see how i liked it oh messing up big time off this all right looks like it says i'm hitting like 134s or something like that for my lap time so so we can try to focus up for a really good one I want to take this inside no matter what. So I think we're going to go here, inside, stay inside. And then second gear, connect. Ooh, not bad. I wonder if I could still make it. Oh, that that might be fast. That might be fast if I can actually hit it pretty nice. Might be a fast line. Nice big tabletop. Let's go fourth gear. Oh, no. Almost ruined it. Almost ruined it. Take that up, down, up and over. Nice. Cut down. Just gotta be careful, man, because you can feel like you're, you're not so much grip around some of these corners and slippery. Okay, maybe I could do this and then wrap over here. That might be the line. Because then I can go here. Never mind, I just... I could do it on a... Two <laughs> I could do it on a 250. And I messed up. Also, I want to say thank you guys for 31,000 subs. Greatly appreciate you guys. We're gonna keep growing. I did do a 12-hour stream the other day, which absolutely was amazing. Um, and huge shout-out to Demi Godfish. I didn't even qualify yesterday, and um, Homeboy literally donated me, like, $300, dude. Absolutely insane. Like, I'm just, I, I'm so, I'm so happy that, like, I could stream every day, and you just never know who you're gonna, like, whose day you're gonna make a little bit more happier, more joyful, and I'm, I'm happy to know that, like, I touched that man in a good way. Pause! 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 I warmed his heart. I warmed his heart in the right way. And, um, yeah, thank you so much. Woo! That was close. That was close. But, anyways, um, greatly appreciate you, bro. Absolutely insane. And I'm just happy to be able to do that from day in, day out for everybody that still supports me. And, uh, yeah, on the road to 32,000 subs, so we're going to keep grinding. Uh, on the road to pass Chase Sexton. Yes, I said it and I meant it. Pass Chase Sexton and some subs. I think that'd be really awesome, really cool. Um... Nothing too crazy. I, I know he more focuses on his Instagram. I looked him up, dude. He's actually wild on there. But it'd be really cool. A little, little awesome uh, accomplishment to pass Chase Sexton right there. W Ryder as well. I'm really starting to grow into Chase Sexton because I uh, started watching his IRL videos. Uh, I mean, or his vlogs from each week. And kind of just a cool vibe, man, honestly. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't really a big keen on him hitting golf. I'm not a golfer IRL. But it was pretty cool to see him Levi Kitchen all him, like, all rocking. All right, Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well, I got to say, King, 100% right here. Muddy Creek. You did that, John. I'm going to definitely freaking grind this a little bit later. Hopefully, you join up if you're watching this and get some races on it. I definitely want to do that. I mean, even if I can't create the series on it or something like that, I would love to see, like, a small Outlaw National thing going on here. I don't know what other tracks they go to for Outlaw National. I probably have, I should, probably should have done my research. But if this is like one of their stops, I wonder where else they go. Because if this is in, if this is in Tennessee, I wonder what other spots they're going to. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Good little easy peasy video for you guys. And once again, I just don't do track reviews, so happy to do it when I can, and uh, especially when you earned it. So thanks so much, King. And um, yeah, everybody have a great day. I appreciate you. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the streams, baby. Hold on, I want to hit it. 360 nose, oh, oh.